Skang. I'm an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at Johns Hopkins, and I work on large-scale interconnected systems, one of, example of which is the power grid. If you think about the power grid and the communication system and make an analogy there, people often say that if, you, if Alexander Graham Bell came back and looked at the communication system, which is based on his invention, he wouldn't know what he was looking at. The system is completely different in the way it's evolved and the way it functions. However, if Thomas Edison came back, he would really recognize the system. It's essentially the same as when he invented electricity and the original infrastructure was built. So in terms of the power system, the way that we use the power system is going to have to change. For instance, if we have a large amount of renewable energy and our system is more distributed, we're going to have more control at the end devices. So say if we're all driving around in electric cars, and I see that happening more and more, in that we will have an electrification of the transportation system because electricity is more efficient than um, a traditional car engine, then we're going to have to schedule when we charge the batteries for those cars. So people will have to be more flexible in how they use these products. You may have an app on your smartphone, which probably won't be a smartphone, it'll probably be a chip in your arm or something like that in a hundred years, where you say, okay, I need to have this much energy by the time I go home. And you'll pay if you then try and take your car away before the time you said you will go home. So you'll be scheduling that and they'll be rewarded for being flexible in that your energy will cost less, but you'll be penalized if you do not do what you say you're going to do. So we're going to have to be a lot more scheduled in our lives and have a better understanding of how and when we use power.